Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making my version of a chili. So we're going to be using the slow cooker. I'm only going to do the cans in the slow cooker right now. And then I'm going to add the hamburger meat in a little while. But for now we're just going to do everything we need. So you need two cans of tomato sauce. We're doing a budget friendly chili. So almost everything is great value. Okay, so one can of tomato sauce. That's just gonna go on the bottom. <clears throat> then we're gonna do the next can. I'm making a big batch that way this can last the week for like lunches for Joe lunch for me so these will be for lunch or dinner next one we're gonna do canned corn again great value I'm gonna drain some of the liquid dishes I gotta do today. Should I always have dishes? Dishes and laundry is never ever ending. So we got the corn, tomato sauce. The next one you're gonna need one can of the dark red kidney beans. This one I just drained. You guys can rinse it off or whatever, but I don't. I just drain it. Okay, I'll be back. Little buddy woke up. So I just wanted to say this is the can. Dark red kidney beans. Great value. Next, you're gonna do the mixed chili beans. So this is gonna give you like kind of different variety of beans. And that's two cans of that. Next, you're gonna need a can of the Rotel Original. And we're doing two cans of that. We're also doing two cans of the mixed chili, so. Guys know. For this one, I just dump it in. Mister, you trying to open the door with the little keys? Okay. And then lastly is the last can. And then I have to cook the hamburger meat, which I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Cause I gotta get him fed and then uh, waiting on the hamburger meat to like defrost a little bit. I took it out yesterday and it was in the fridge, so we gotta let it defrost a little. I'm gonna turn this on low and then we're gonna give it a good mix. So I'm gonna show you guys. I had to throw out the cans real quick. So, and this is how it looks. I'm just gonna mix it all around. We like corn in ours, so I add corn. And it looks pretty good. 
pretty good already. Okay. What I can do is add some seasonings that I'm going to add, which one of my secrets, which I'm giving cinnamon. You want a very little, but enough cinnamon. Thank me later because that makes the chili so good. I don't know why, but it makes it good. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna grab the seasonings and I'll be right back. Okay, so for some seasonings we're gonna use is the original chili. Which I just part, I put what my heart desires. So I make sure I load it up. Okay. Put whatever your heart desires. I'm going to go in with a little bit of uh, garlic salt. I don't know where my garlic powder is. I might have finished it. Okay, and then black pepper. Which I also put to my heart is content. And for a little kickity kick, we're just gonna add the rest of this uh, crushed red pepper because I am out. But we'll just add it. Okay, and there you go. So that's kind of like all the seasonings I use and then I season the hamburger meat once I cook that too. Now I just give it a good mix. That looks good already. Okay, now we just set it and forget it and then I'm gonna come back when I do the hamburger meat. Hey guys, so I'm back. Now we're gonna do the cornbread. Because we love cornbread with um, chili. So one package of corn mix, one egg, one third milk. the mixing into this we're gonna put the packet of this so one packet of the jiffy honey corn muffin but we do cornbread what do i need to set the oven to so i don't forget 400 You're just chewing on your thing. He will get fussy in a little bit. In a little bit because it's almost nap time again. Or nap time. Um, one egg and then one third milk. I'm going to add a little bit more protein. So we're going to do the premier protein. And it is two scoops. Two scoops for 30... 30 grams of protein because I just want to give it a little bit more protein than what it would be yeah like to me that's nothing 
So we're gonna do a little bit more of the protein. I'm already almost out of this bad boy. Okay. So we got the two scoops, just to give it a little bit more protein in our meal. I want to mix up the powder first. So then we need one egg and then one third milk. Come on. I swear today has not been my day. Why would the lid be almost off? Every week, not every week, but one, when it's my birthday, like, the week of my birthday, the whole week is horrible. Whole week. Whole week. I'm like, this, this is not, this is not it as an adult anymore. Because this is not fun. This is not it any longer for me. We went grocery shopping yesterday, so I got both of these packs for $3. I'm like, yes, we're going to do this because that's not a bad price. Okay, so we're going to add one egg. To it and then we need a one-third cup which luckily my one-third cup is clean because all my measuring cups lately always in the sink never fails yeah one-third cup one egg a little bit. Whatever. I still have a little left. Okay, now we're gonna mix. And yes, I'm mixing with a spoon. I can care less what I mix stuff with as long as it gets mixed. I probably actually will add that rest of the milk just because I added the um protein powder so I feel like this is gonna make it pretty thick right now because you got the one egg and then you have just the one third of milk so yeah i'm gonna and it's not much it's probably like another one third to be honest and we're just gonna finish it up because i think that'll be better yeah i like if anything, I can add two more scoops of the protein powder if I had to, or a scoop. But I think I like this consistency right now. I do add a little bit of honey to mine, so that is a little like secret thing I add because we like our cornbread sweet. So I add a little bit of Sugar, which I haven't added yet. See, I think that's a good consistency. I like, I like that. When I mean like a little sugar, I do. 
I do about mm, just that much. Not much at all. Now, if Joe was making it, he would be like this. La, 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 la. Yeah, I, I'm not joking. He would. Because he likes it sweet. I just like it a little bit on the, like, sweeter side. So, I just do a little bit. I don't do much. So, yeah, I like, I like that consistency. I think this is pretty good. What are you doing? I know it has raw egg, but I'm going to give it a little lick. People drink raw egg. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Especially with the protein powder in it. I think that's going to be good. And it's only for me and Joe, so... I figure he can take it to work with him for lunch. Because we're definitely going to have leftover chili. Okay. I think that's good. oven is still preheating so I gotta wait to put it in and then it says to cook it for hmm, 13 to 17 minutes so we gotta wait for the oven to preheat I'm gonna get the hamburger meat started in a little bit it's still a little on the solid side what is the connection? So we're going to let this sit for a minute while the oven preheats and then I'll be back. Okay. The whole struggle just to do what I need to do. So we've got about a pound of hamburger meat. touch the meat but I still like to kind of like rinse my hands when I touch the baggie so we're doing the hamburger meat now since it's all ready I also tried the cornbread. That is good. It's on the smaller side. I normally do two boxes. When I make cornbread, I do about two boxes. And this time, I did one. So, and I will say it, it's pretty good. I like it. I'm sure Joe will like it. Because it's pretty good. I always need my go-to metal spatula. prices like this the prices are outrageous for me the potato not the potatoes the um eggs were a pretty good price i think but these the meat 
Mm-mm. Was not it. I'm going to let this cook up a little bit, and then I'll be back. Okay. So now we're going to add some of the chili seasoning. Not that much. I don't measure. I do what to I think is a good amount. Black pepper. And a little bit of the garlic salt. Not that much. And then since I added cinnamon to my chili already, I'm just going to do about a sprinkle of cinnamon in the hamburger meat because you want your food to kind of be all equal out to each other. And then now I just give it a good mix. And then I just let it cook because I like to make sure this is done. I don't need this proper anymore. Okay. So now I'm just going to let this cook for a few minutes. About medium heat. And then I'll add that to the chili. And then I'll just keep letting it cook on low. But while I'm over here, let's give our little chili a little mix of room. Oh yeah. This looks phenomenal. That looks good. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to let those cook and then just mix it in. And that's basically it. I'll probably do a little, like, clip of showing you how it all looks together. But then that'll be it. So, this is the chili and cornbread. Just how I do it and how I cut it. So, this is how it looks. So, let's do a little taste test. I've already had a little taste of the cornbread and the chili and it's good. Mm. Mhm. Mm now I could eat chili every day. What about Buzz? What? Mm. This is good. Mm. And it's cheap, it's affordable to make. Yeah, meat, beans. Mm. Wow. That's good.